The entire world is admiring India with the success of Chandrayaan 3. And joining us right now is a very special guest, Project Director of Chandrayaan 3. So, welcome to Sunset TV. It's a historic day. The Rajya Sabha also discussed the glorious journey of the space sector in India with, of course, the success of Chandrayaan 3. Take us through the journey, the entire journey. Uh, it's, uh, it's really good. Uh, we have started this project uh, uh, in the beginning of 2020 after the setback in Chandrayaan 2 and then initially we have uh, uh, pinpointed what was what went wrong in Chandrayaan 2 and uh, there was a failure analysis committee uh, and uh, the corrective actions have been taken place and also we reconfigured the lander made more robust in all the uh, in all the hardware and softwares and also we built multiple mission parts so that uh, we don't go wrong this time and also uh, we initially itself we conceptualized and uh, conducted series of uh, ground test and a special test simulating the lunar environment uh, and uh, we also uh, conducted uh, three major special tests uh, one is uh, integrated cold test integrated hot test and uh, lander like drop test and also we realized multiple modules uh, both in flight as well as uh, ground test and uh, finally we have uh, launched and landed successfully it gives a uh, enormous satisfaction and happiness Fantastic, sir. Absolutely, you've done the entire nation proud. Uh, but, sir, talking about the achievements, the scientific data, the research, yeah. how is it going? In fact, uh, you maybe uh, you would have uh, come across all the scientific data. We have a mission life of one lunar day that is equivalent to 14 Earth days. Uh, upon landing successfully, the rover was deployed from the lander and rover had a mobility of uh, nearly 101.4 meter. And we had two scientific instruments in rover and uh, three scientific instruments in lander. All were operated uh, soon after the landing and it has given plethora of science data, both from lander and rover. And we operated continuously for uh, uh, 24, almost 24 by 7 for the entire lunar day and uh, as far as the mission objectives are concerned we have completely met and it uh, it has exceeded our expectations and uh, the analysis is going on and uh, there are so many uh, new findings have come uh, and uh, one of its kind like uh, the surface experiments was one of its kind like uh, one of the payload in lander uh, was uh, measuring the electron density and electron temperature uh, and it measured the lunar uh, surface plasma environment and uh, another payload is a seismic activity where uh, it can uh, measure the uh, natural events as well as artificial events which has an high uh, sensitive accelerometer uh, and it has also measured uh, uh, various events uh, the ramp deployment rover mobility and all uh, the third one was the thermophysical experiment where uh, the probe was inserted into the lunar regolith for about uh, uh, 140 mm and we had 10 temperature sensors where it measures the thermal conductivity as well as the temperatures over time as well as over the sun load and rover also has got two payloads uh, both are spectrometry and this was first of its kind uh, in situ experiment uh, one operates in laser based uh, uh, principle and uh, another one is uh, extra fluorescent technique and both was operated uh, again continuously and it has given a plenty of data absolutely sir finally since the upper house of parliament discussed a glorious journey of india's space sector how do you see this journey it it was very good. Uh, every of the every one of the member uh, appreciated the effort put in by ISRO, and uh, it is a teamwork. And uh, ISRO was uh, finally when uh, they were appreciating ISRO, it gives enormous uh, happiness. Right from chairman ISRO, directors, and our team, especially the Chandrayaan three team, uh, it was well appreciated, and uh, it gives uh, enormous happiness and satisfaction. Absolutely, sir, and thank you so much for all your endeavors. Reporting from Parliament, Prithvi Mishra for Sunset Television.